Good day. In this video, we're going to show you how to simplify ratios. The first one we're going to simplify is 5 to 10. You look for the biggest possible number that can divide into 5 and into 10 without a remainder. The highest common factor is then 5. So 5 divided by 5 gives us a 1, and 10 divided by 5 gives us a 2. Simplified ratio, 1 to 2. Now we simplify the ratio 9 to 6 to 12. The highest common factor that can divide into all three of them is 3. So our simplified answer will be 3 to 2 to 4. The next two set of ratios involve fractions. If you get a ratio 5 over 2 to 7 over 2, and the denominators are the same, you can just leave out the denominators and the final ratio will be 5 to 7. Same with ratio 3 over 10 to 17 over 10. Of course the denominators are the same, you can just throw them away and you have a ratio 3 to 17. Now let's simplify this ratio. First we have to make the denominators the same, we have to find the LCD of 6 and 12. That is 12, so we keep the 11 twelfths and we times the 6 by 2 to make it 12, and you also times the top by 2, and you get 10 12 is the same as 5 sixths. Then the simplified ratio is 10 to 11. Let's do one more of these. If you have 2 thirds to 3 quarters, and you have to simplify the ratio, look for the lowest common denominator of 3 and 4, which is 12. And then you multiply the 3 with 4 to get 12. And you do the same at the top. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 thirds become 8 twelfths. And 3 quarters become 9 twelfths. Again, we can leave out the denominators now. And the simplified ratio is 8 to 9. The next ratio is 2 and a half to 3 and a third. Convert them both to improper fractions. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 over 2. And 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10 over 3. So 2 and a half becomes 5 halves and 3 and a third becomes 10 thirds. Then we make the denominators the same again. We find the LCD of 2 and 3 which is 6. So 5 over 2 will become 15 over 6 and 10 over 3 will become 20 over 6. That simplifies to 15 to 20. Then using the highest common factor of 15 and 20 we simplify further. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. Simplified version of this ratio is 3 to 4. Now let's simplify the ratio a third to a quarter to a fifth. Find the LCD of 3, 4, and 5, which is 60. Then using equivalent fractions, we convert all three of them to 60ths. Then the simplified ratio will be 20 to 15 to 12. You may send a message to this number to arrange a personalized online lesson in mathematics. Let us simplify the following three ratios that involve money. The highest common factor of 36 and 84 is 12, so we divide 12 in here and 12 in there. Simplified version will be 3 to 7. Now 24 cents to 64 cents. Because we can divide 8 into both of them, it will simplify to 3 to 8. When we get a ratio 4 rand to 80 cents, we convert both of them to the same unit cents, so we have 400 cents to 80 cents. Then the highest common factor here is 80, so I divide 8 to 80 both of them. The simplified version is 5 to 1. Please stop the video and get your brain around these three. The next ratio is 0,3 to 0,9. One way of doing it is to convert them both to common fractions. 3 tenths to 9 tenths. That gives us 3 to 9. The highest common factor of 3 and 9 is 3, so I divide 3 into both of them. The simplified answer is 1 to 3. You can also do it differently. Let's take 2,9 to 9,8. You may times both of these numbers by 10 and you get 29 to 98. And that is your simplified ratio because it cannot simplify any further. Of course, 29 is a prime number, and only 1 and 29 can divide into 29. Let us simplify 0,26 to 3,9. You might want to put in an extra 0 here to get them in the same order compared to the decimal comma. Then you can convert them to common fractions. This is 26 over 100. This is 390 over 100. 
Let me get 26 to 390. They have a common factor of 26. I divide 26 into both of them and you get 1 to 15. Please stop the video and see how we simplified these decimal ratios. Let us simplify the following two sets of ratios. 18 cm to 45 cm. They have a highest common factor of 9, so we divide 9 into both of them. Simplified version, 2 to 5. Let's simplify a half meter to 75 centimeters. We make them the same units, so we convert the half meter to 50 centimeters, keep the 75 centimeters. The highest common factor now is 25. So the simplified version is 2 to 3. If we divide 25 into 50 and 25 into 75. The last two sets of ratios involve ratios with time. First we have 14 days to 3 weeks. A possible way of doing it is to convert both of them to weeks. We convert them to the same units. 14 days is 2 weeks and we keep the 3 weeks. Simplified ratio 2 to 3. Let's use a different method on the next ratio. We have 10 days to 4 weeks. We may convert both of them to days. So we have 10 days to 28 days. 4 weeks is 4 times 7 which is 28 days. The highest common factor of these two numbers are 2, so you divide 2 into 10, you get 5, and 2 into 28 gives you 14. So 10 days to 4 weeks simplifies to 5 to 14. Please stop the video and get your brain around these four ratios. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy ratios!